Hi my loves, welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Today I'm here with a prophetic dream. Um, in this dream, I was planning my birthday with my husband. And um, we are both ready, we're excited. And um, um, also his friends are helping us and they're excited. And it's kind of like we all have everything together. But I ended up trying to contact um, my own friends and my own family, and they aren't ready. Um, and they kind of, it kind of um, seemed like they weren't exactly interested in showing up. Um, and you know, I, I got a little disappointed, but I was like, okay. And um, there was someone that was supposed to make me a cake, and I started looking in the freezer for the cake. And when I looked in the freezer and I pulled the cake out, it actually was not the cake that I asked for or even a cake for me. It was for someone else, and it was an old cake that had already been cutting into and bitten into and chewed all on and all that. And I got upset, but I didn't get upset. It's like I got upset like my feelings were hurt, but I didn't get upset like I didn't throw a tantrum or anything like that. I just kind of was like, okay. And I decided like quietly not to invite them to my birthday event anymore. The scripture God sent me to comes from Proverbs 30 and 4. Who has gone up to heaven and come down again? Who has cupped the wind in his hands? Who has bound up the waters in a cloak? Who has marked out all the ends of the earth? What is his name? What is his son's name? If you know it. Every word of God is tested. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Add nothing to his words, lest he reprove you and you be exposed as a deceiver. Okay. Um, I feel like God is saying that, first of all, in times like this, um, I just feel like this is for somebody you feel like you don't have a lot of support. You don't have, um, and you never have support. You never had anyone just show up for you. And I say that because of my reaction in this dream. I wasn't upset. Like, I, I, it wasn't a situation to where I was like, oh, they said they, I really thought that. And I, like, and they always, it was a situation where I was like, I'm not even surprised. Like, I, to be honest, to be real, to be 100, I really, this is what I was expecting. I'm not shocked. I'm not appalled. I'm not surprised. I'm just not going to expect them to come anymore. And I'm going to move on and keep it pushing. And I just feel like God is saying sometimes, um, sometimes God is trying to direct us towards a new and we are trying to hold on to the old. And it's not to say that your family is not meant to be in your life and your family is not meant to, um, be around you and you're not meant to, um, love your family and get encouragement from your family and you're not meant to get, all of those things, you know, just to have someone to talk to sometimes. But in reality, every um, everybody isn't the same. You know, sometimes there are different situations in different families, different friend groups where some people just don't like they don't click. They don't get along, regardless if they don't get along because they really don't get along or if somebody feels some kind of way about the other one, regardless if they actually did something to them or if they just feel some kind of way about them because they're jealous of them, they don't like them, they feel some kind of way. Like, it, it's just, it's so many reasons that it could happen. But I just feel like this is a message for somebody. You, um, you were trying to plan something or you are planning something and your family and friends have promised you that they will come up out for you. They will support you. And God is sending me to tell you, this is the warning that they are going to fall back on the promise that they gave to you. They are not going to show up for you the way that they said they would. They did not mean what they said. Their intentions were not pure. And, um, yeah, just like with the cake, you know, I, it's not to say that the cake is the main event, but typically at any kind of event, regardless of what it is, birthday party, a wedding, um, whatever it is, like a cake is something that, you know, people look forward to. It's typically very decorated, really nice, and it's typically 
um, something that is seen as important. Like, you know, if you don't have a cake at a birthday party, it's kind of like, well, how are you going to light up the candles and blow? And if you don't have the cake at the wedding, how are you going to take your cutting the cake pictures and shove the cake in your, your boo face? Like, it's just like, um, I feel like that part of it is, um, a warning to, if you know somebody is not, they, like, they never been there for you. They never been supportive of you. They've never been, um, happy for you. Then what, um, not to say it this way, but this is the way God is whispering it in my ear. What will make you think, what will possess you to think that this person is going to be there for you now? Just be real with yourself. And, um, if you are just being real with yourself and your expectations are, um, where they should be, then you will not be disappointed. You will not be sad and you won't miss a beat. Just like in my dream, um, it was just kind of like, it was early. I showed up early and I wanted to see what was really going on. You know, um, I, I wanted to see if everything was going to be going the way that it's supposed to be. And when I showed up, exactly what I thought was what was going on. And, you know, it was like, it is what it is. It's not like um, everything has fallen apart and everything is over. And everything is terrible. But, um, you know, and the last part I'm going to say, five, every word of God is tested. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Add nothing to his words, lest he reprove you and you be exposed as a deceiver. God says that, um, <clears throat> he is exposing them for what they, what they plan to do. Because, you know, for some, I feel like it's just a situation to where maybe they were just being nice. And when they said they would do this for you, but, um, they never got any further information but i feel like for somebody for somebody for somebody they deliberately said yes with no intentions of ever um coming through with whatever it is they said yes to they said yes but they had no intentions of actually showing up for you they said yes but they had no intentions of celebrating you and you know um I, to be honest, I used to be so hurt when I was younger because I um, didn't have a lot of people show up to my birthday parties. Um, I honestly, you know, I felt so nervous about recording this video because I got this dream of about a week or two ago. But, you know, I don't like putting anybody on blast, but it's the truth. I rarely saw any of my family at my birthday parties. And that's real. That's real. That's real. I know it's going to be some people that's going to be mad, but that's real. That is the truth. It is the truth. I think my first birthday party, which I don't even remember, is the only time that my family showed up for my birthday party, for my birthday to celebrate me. And, you know, a lot of people like to say, well, birthdays aren't that important. It's not that serious. It is literally a celebration of your life. And if someone loves you, they would be happy and cheerful to celebrate you and your life. And, you know, um, like I said, I feel like it's sad because, um, you know, it messes with a kid, with a child when they want to see these people that they care about, these people that they love, these people that say that they love them and they want them to come and celebrate them. And they don't. It's very heartbreaking, it's very hurtful, and it can be even be hurtful as an adult. But um, I just feel like God is sending me to tell you this so that when this happens, you are not disappointed and you don't, you know, turn around and say, Oh, but um, but I thought and I, I wanted and I thought, and you're not gonna sit there and linger on that. You're not gonna sit there and be expecting of that. You're not gonna sit there and be like um, you know, like it, it's not going to allow you to stress, like to stress you out. I'm thinking about, <clears throat> God is reminding me about how fashion shows for a fashion show, um, the designer and her team or his team could possibly hire whatever. Let's say they need 20 models. They typically will hire about 30 models. And it's not because they are trying to over hire or overcrowd the show, but it is because it is that many women or models that will turn around the day of the event 
and call and say that they can't make it. They stuck in traffic. They did this. This happened. That happened. They don't know where. Like, you know, it, it's always something. And I feel like this is not one of those. This is a situation where somebody deliberately knew they were not going to come. They had no intentions of coming. They had no care of coming. But they wanted to drag you along so that they could potentially ruin what you have going on. But God is saying, don't you put your, all your eggs in one basket. Don't sit around and expect them to show up. Don't sit around and expect them to come through and do what they said they was going to do. Because um, I, I hear God saying lies. It, somebody, somebody lied. Somebody is being a liar. Somebody is being a deceiver. And God says he wants you to know that this person is being a deceiver. They're being a deceiver. And in some cases, they are using the word of God in an excuse as to why they are not being there for you. They are using the word of God as an excuse as to why they are not going to show up for you, why they are doing this to you. And God says he is not honoring that. Whatever it is that they're sitting around and trying to use as an excuse as to why they are trying to hurt you, God did not ask them to do that. All vengeance belongs to God. So even if they did feel like you did something in an, and they're attempting to punish you for what you did, God said he didn't ask them to do that. And in reality, um, whatever it is they're trying to punish you for, you might have already got punished for it, or it, it's just really in reality, not up to them. Okay, and that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.